afternoon. My name is Zora Bender and I'm from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church where Reverend Charles K. Bender is my pastor and I have along with me today my granddaughter, one of the students for our Thursday lesson and she's going to read our scripture for today coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 13 and 14. If you want to grab your Bibles and a piece of paper, we're getting ready to get started. Sister Jayon. I am going to be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. For by one Spirit and are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free and we been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member but many. I just read first Corinthians chapter twelve verse thirteen and fourteen. Well thank you, Sister Jayana, for reading that scripture. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come today thanking you for this day, Lord. Thanking you for our health and strength. And we pray that you will see this lesson as growth and make it part of your everyday life. And we want to thank you for everything you've done for us. And strengthen me as I deliver this lesson. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, for today we are going to talk about we need one another. We need one another. Now, I know from an early age we've been taught, because I have told my children to stand on your own two feet. Amen. Or you can do it by yourself. Get going. Get up and just do it. But I believe that God didn't make us to be alone. In our life and in our spiritual journey, when you accept Christ, you become part of the body of Christ. Which Miss Jayana read, we're one body with many members, which let me know we need each other. We need people, I don't know about you, but I need people to play with, I need people to talk to, I need people to love me, I need people to help me, and I need people to comfort me. Amen. So we must understand that we all have a part to play. Sometimes we give, sometimes we receive, but we need each other. Yes. Even if we are different or we know someone different, we still must walk in unity. Mm -hmm. And without love, it is impossible to do that. We have differences, so we can complement one another. That's why some of us are the feet, some are the hands, some are the head, and some is the heart. We all have a different role to play. And it should complement us and not divide us. And one shouldn't think he's better than the other. What kind of world would it be if we all were alike? It would not be so interesting, and that's the reason God gave us all differences. In Philippians 2, 3, it says, let each esteem the other better than themselves. So let's talk about other folk, what they are doing to help us along this journey instead of bragging on ourselves. Cause God don't like it when we brag on ourselves. So let's find something good to say about each other. Paul told the church at Philippi to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Don't do nothing for selfish reasons so people can talk about everything you have done. You do it because you are humble and considerate of other people. 
we need each other. Mm -hmm. First Peter 4 8 says, and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity still covers the multitude of sin. So no matter what other people do or say to you, whether it hurt you or make you smile, if you have love, that will cover their sins, especially if they ask for forgiveness. We need each other. Yes, we really do. All of us have an important role to play to make God's plan work effectively. So remember, we all have a role to play in God's kingdom and do it well. Thank you.